What's going on YouTube? So the Volkswagen Arteon is a sedan not a lot of people know about, but when you see one out on the street, it certainly catches your attention. Now this was a recent addition to the lineup here in the US, but despite that, Volkswagen is already extensively refreshing this Arteon to be even more stylish and high tech. So is this an Audi hiding in Volkswagen clothing? Let's go ahead and find out. So up here in the front, the Arteon has a really low, wide, and aggressive stance, and that's mostly to do with this grille. Now at first glance, you may not notice there's much different from last year, but it has been revised to have less chrome bars up in the front, and you also have a more aggressive lower fascia down here just to you know make it look more aggressive. There's also another really cool update, and that's the fact that you now have a light bar that extends out from the daytime running light all the way across the grill, which I think looks really cool. Now, as far as the headlights themselves though, these are gonna be full LED uh, across all of the models. You've got the double daytime running lights as well as your LED turn signal. But as nice as the front looks, these wheels really, really stand out a lot. I love this design. This, of course, being the fully loaded model, we have the largest options, so they are 20 inch alloys with this really unique design that I think just stands out so much on the street. Kind of looks like a concept vehicle. Of course, your lower trims, they come with smaller 19 or 18 inch alloys. Moving on up here, we've got our R-Line branding here. And of course, the mirrors, they're gonna come with all the features, auto dimming, heating, blind spot, monitoring, and power folding. Now this Arteon is of course very stylish and the biggest part of that is that this is a sport back. Uh, so as far as something that this could compare to, it would be like the Kia Stinger. And if you're looking at the Audi A5 sport back, this is actually gonna be three inches larger for reference in length. Now, as far as the rear design itself, Wow, this does look really, really good. It has a very elegant and classy look. So as far as up top, we have a blacked out spoiler on this model dropping down. The taillights are gonna be fully LED. And they also have a very intricate design that kind of mimics what's shown in the headlights. And then as far as the diffuser area, we do have chrome trimming around it, as well as dual real exhaust pipes. And as you can see inside, there's actually two exhaust pipes in each one. So I guess you could say that this Arteon has quad exhausts. So for the Arteon, in terms of your safety systems, you're gonna have two of them standard on all of the models. That's gonna be forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection and blind spot monitoring. Now, if you go for the SEL R-Line and above, that's also gonna throw in an advanced adaptive cruise control system with new for 2021 traffic jam assist, as well as lane keeping assist and auto high beam headlamps. But anyway, guys, that's gonna sum up the exterior design of this Arteon. As you can tell, it looks really, really good. So now let's go ahead and check out the rest. And before we do all of that, hit that subscribe button down below because it really helps us out and it doesn't cost you anything. So every version of the Arteon does come with Volkswagen Smart Entry System. And as you can see on this fully loaded example, we do also have Remote Star integrated right in. And of course, to get inside the vehicle, just grab behind the handle since there is a sensor. All right, now take a look at this cabin. Of course, the Arteon has always had a really premium cabin, but it gets even more premium with this 2021 refresh, and you can definitely see a lot of influence from Audi. Now, as far as the seats are concerned, they support that Audi vibe because they are finished in fine Napa leather. That's right, Napa leather on all but the very base model, which instead has leather ret. And then as far as your different color options with the Napa leather, you have the choice between Titan black, which is what you see here, and also a stone option. 
Now turning over here to the door trim, you'll see nice materials reflected up here. We have a nicely padded armrest. We have a leather material above that with color contrast stitching. Uh, new this year, you'll see some new pieces of interior trim that runs through various places in the cabin. And even the top part of this door trim is covered in a leatherette material. As far as your windows, all four will be one touch auto up and down. And then heading over here to these seats, these are 12 way power adjusting with two way lumbar support. Right above that you have two person memory seating, but you also notice an extra button. That's because this fully loaded model has massaging seats. So that's really cool to see. And then like I was already mentioning, this is fine Napa leather. So you're looking at, you know, the nicest type of leather that you can get in any type of vehicle. And indeed it does feel super soft and supple, has a really nice contrast design, and it's definitely as nice as what you get in an Audi product. Now, like I said, from the moment you get inside, you can really sense this is an upscale environment. And like I said, for 2021, it gets even more elevated. So across the upper dash, this is all gonna be finished in a leatherette material with a color contrast stitching detail. As we move down below that, you'll see various layers of the new types of trim, including this silver piece, which I really like. Going down, this is all gonna be soft touch. And just throughout this cabin, you really get a sense of quality. Everything in here feels super solid and fits together with precision that you expect from a German vehicle. Now to start up the RTI, put your foot on the brake and press the standard button. And once that fires up, you are greeted with Volkswagen's digital cockpit system. It does measure in at 10 inches, and this is a newly standard on every Arteon for 2021. Now, basically, this is Volkswagen's version of Audi Virtual Cockpit. So you can scroll through various kinds of information all up here. Um, you can also click the View button, and that will bring up uh, different types of information into the full screen view or various other types of layouts. So it's definitely a very nice system. Now coming back to the steering wheel, uh, this is one of my favorite elements of the cabin because this is a really, really nice steering wheel. It does have a flat bottom design as well as kind of squared off side grips, which I really like. You also have these really sleek looking uh, touch sensitive buttons on the steering wheel, but they are capacitive. So when you touch it, it does give you some feedback. So it's definitely still easy to use as well. As far as the wheel itself, it is gonna be manual tilt and telescoping. And you probably just saw the heated button on this loaded model. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about interior storage. Now this is mostly focused on style, but it still is a sedan and it has plenty of storage. So looking inside the center console here, uh, this is not super large, but it is nice and deep and it has a really luxurious felt lining on it. When we grab out our big stack of coupons here, and slide these in and it fills them up or fills up the entire space there, but they do fit just fine. Now up in front of this, you have your two cup holders that are covered. And then up in the very front, we can slide back this tray here. And this gives you a really nice spot to stick your cell phone and hold it in place. Now coming back to the shifter, this is just a traditional style shifter. So you'll pull back for drive. You can bump over here to the right if you want to do some manual shifting. And you have paddle shifters on the steering wheel. Heading into reverse, uh, you do have a backup camera with active trajectory as well as parking sensors. And if you press this button right here, this will open up your 360 degree view. So you do have both that regular view and your 360 view. I also wanna point out that you have an automatic parking system with this SEL premium. And of course you do have an electronic parking brake right here. Okay, so now let's move on up to our climate controls because this is an area that has changed for 2021. So you'll notice these have the same sleek look as the uh, steering wheel controls and that's because they are now touch capacitive. So to adjust your temperature, you just slide along this uh, line here and the same goes for adjusting the fan speed. I will say they are very responsive. So unlike some of the things that other automakers have done, I don't think this will be too distracting to you. 
And then we do have three stage heated seats across all the models and three stage ventilation with this loaded model. Okay, so now that brings us on up here to our audio system. So let's go ahead and sample the new 12 speaker Harman Kardon premium audio system. Sound quality of this system is awesome. Definitely a lot of bass and it really fills up the cabin well. All right, so now we're here at our Volkswagen infotainment system. So this is the same as what we've seen in most Volkswagen products. Uh, we do have an eight inch display right there in the middle and you have the capacitive touch buttons along the side as well as the physical tune and volume knobs. Now one thing I do wanna point out is the fact that I'm connected to Android Auto and I'm connected to Android Auto wirelessly as you can see. And of course, the same can be said for Apple CarPlay as well. And then this is your built-in navigation system, which is of course included with the fully loaded model. Now moving on up from there, we have a frameless auto dimming mirror. And then up at the very top, we have a panoramic sunroof. Uh, it doesn't go all the way back, uh, but it is larger than a normal sunroof. You do have a manual sunshade and this does open up. Alrighty, so here I am in the Arteon's rear seat, and the first thing that really strikes me is just how much space this has. Uh, you're going to have 40 inches of rear legroom and 37 inches of rear headroom, which does actually place it as larger than the Volkswagen Passat and the Kia Stinger. And behind rear seating position, I have, I would say, a solid, probably almost a foot of space, and my feet can easily slide up underneath the seat, so that's a lot a lot of space and comfort. Now as far as the features, uh, Volkswagen does throw in vents standard on all of the models. Down below that we do also have temperature adjustment and off to the left side of that we have heated rear seats. That's going to be on the SEL premium trim and then if we open this up we have a USB type C and a 12 volt outlet and folding down the center armrest we do have cup holders inside. Now walking up to the cargo area of the Arteon, of course, this is one of the biggest benefits of going for something like this is that it's actually a sport back. So despite its sedan looking uh, design, there's a lot of space back here. So you can open this hands-free power tailgate uh, two different ways. You can push in the Volkswagen emblem or you can wave your foot under the bumper to open it up. And once inside, as I alluded to earlier, there's a lot of space back here. So you're going to have 27 cubic feet behind the second row seats. And that expands to 54 cubic feet if you fold them down. And like I mentioned, that is just so much space, way more than you get in an average sedan. And that is also larger than the Kia Stinger. Now, as far as how Volkswagen has finished it back here, uh, we do have a nice carpeting along the floor if we lift it up. There is a spare tire up under the floor, and we do also have cubbies on the right and left side, as well as a cargo cover up top. Now over here your passenger seat, you are going to keep the a lot of adjustments that the driver's seat has, including the four-way uh, power lumbar support, which is pretty impressive. And opening the glove box up, we do have a good-sized glove box. It's nicely felt lined as far as how the coupons fit in. They definitely have no issues, so Burger King, Fazoli's, whatever coupons you have, they fit right in. And then up top, we do have a sun visor with a mirror as well as an LED light, and it does also detach and extend. Here we are taking off in this 2021 RT-ON. So like uh, many Volkswagen and Audi products, we've got the two liter turbo four cylinder on board. It's making 268 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. So you have really nice uh, power numbers there. 
And one of the things I do want to point out about this 2 liter turbo engine is it just has that typical Audi refinement uh, that you'll find in something like the A5 Sportback. The 2 liter just has such a refined feel to it that I am absolutely in love with. Power is certainly plentiful in this. Uh, we also do have an 8-speed automatic on board. Um, really impressed with this transmission. It definitely shifts very fast and smoothly. It's not a dual clutch like uh, some of the other Volkswagen and Audi products, uh, but you really won't notice because like I said, it does shift very smoothly and very quickly. Just kind of cruising along here, I do want to talk about the Arteon's ride quality as well as kind of the, just the overall uh, experience you're going to get behind the wheel of one of these. Now, as far as the uh, ride is, I'm very impressed. We were just on a road that was kind of under construction and it really soaked up those bumps really well. Um, and one of the reasons why is because you have standard adaptive dampers on the Arteon, which is pretty cool. Um, and as far as the noise level, I definitely don't hear a lot of noise entering into the cabin. And hopefully throughout the point, through some point in this test drive, we'll get a sound level reading and see how fast it, or how loud it tests up. We're going to be sitting uh, right around 57.2 decibels, which that's a good reading. That's pretty much on par with what I would expect out of a luxury vehicle. Uh, so that goes to show you that this Arteon really does have a pretty luxurious uh, interior experience. Yeah, absolutely. Now, as far as the pricing is concerned for the Arteon, the SE is going to start at 36,995. SEL R line 41,595. And then the premium R-Line all-wheel drive is $46,995. This one, as equipped, we have pretty much the fully loaded, uh, well, we do have the fully loaded trim as well as a few options on it. So this is about as expensive as you can get it at $49,170 once you add in the $1,195 destination. So today's Slam Dunk and Airball both relate to that price tag that he just read off. First, the slam dunk. That's going to be the fact of how much like an Audi this really is. Uh, you have exterior styling, which looks awesome. Love the sport back. This cabin, as we discussed, really is a very premium experience. You even have things like massaging seats, so it's very Audi-like uh, for, of course, less money. Now, the air ball, though, is the fact that it probably should be a little bit more of a price gap between the Audi and this. Uh, as you heard, this is nearly $50,000. Um, so you're definitely into Audi territory for sure. Um, you know, you're probably gonna get more equipment and stuff on this equivalent price Volkswagen, but I feel like the price gap should be a bit bigger. Yeah. So to conclude, at the beginning I asked, is this a Audi for less? Really, it kind of is. There's so many characteristics of this that are very, very similar to Audi. Um, and in some cases, you know, there's the, like the front end design, I think is actually a little bit more expressive than even what you get in an Audi. Um, you know, so if you're looking for a sedan, luxury or mainstream, I think this is really one to check out. And it's a shame that not as many people know about the Arteon as I wish they did. Well guys, that's going to wrap up this in-depth review of the 2021 Volkswagen Arteon fully loaded SEL Premium R-Line. We really appreciate you watching, and if you made it this far in the video, don't lie to me, I know you enjoyed it, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.